water, either a flavoured cider or a prosecco. It was the yesterday of my birthday, so I had prosecco then. But um, yeah, I, I like a flavoured cider as well. I kind of grew up on a um, kind of in a place where it's like just getting drunk on a night out is very much the norm. Um, that uh, folk kind of it, it's God, it's hard to say. Opinion of uh, it's probably it's really not great in some ways I guess like, like I say where, where I come from that's it's yeah there's, there's a it, it's just it's just kind of a staple of a night out that you will there will be alcohol there and it's like it's uh I guess it, it, it probably it really it probably could be better when you think about it the, the national relationship with alcohol that um there's probably 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 contributes to a lot of the like, anti-social behavior and things like that and all that stuff so I mean, I've known folk who have been or are alcoholics and have, you know, have lost folk to alcoholism and it's just, it's not, it's just a horrible thing to see somebody kind of on the decline because, and I think, I sometimes feel like where I come from, that I've, I've kind of known, like, when somebody, you know, is an alcoholic, it's kind of, it's almost like a personality trait, really, and folk kind of know them as being like, oh, you know, that, that, that alky, and again, if they've gotten, yeah, don't made the tail end of themselves, then folk laugh at them, and it's like, well, no, you shouldn't really be laughing at them, if it's getting to the stage that they've, you know, completely disgraced themselves, then, you know, they should, they should really be getting help, and they don't need folk laughing at them, sorry. Totally voted against it, and uh, not happy that it's happened, and... You know, not looking forward to getting massive roaming charges on my mobile next time I'm on the continent and kind of miss the idea that it will, you know, freedom of movement's been taken away. Um, my next pa my passport expires next year and when it gets replaced, it'll be blue. And yeah, I just think, I mean, I just think Brexit seems to be a complete and utter, you know, omni shambles. I think it was, yeah, that, that's the word to think of it. Yeah, it's an omni shambles. Violent sexual imagery. You know, I grew up in the North Mainland where there are obviously a lot of folk who work at the, the local oil terminal and have a lot of money and um and yeah at one point like the the rental market in Shetland was a complete joke because we were having the, the, the gas plant that was built um people were actually renting out houses to workers there so of course they were charging like say two grand a month for an ex-council three-bed house like I mean I, I live in a street where most of the properties are ex-council houses and um it was just like, I mean, it was an absolute joke. So, I mean, you know, for somebody with a young family who just moved up, for instance, would have to rely on possibly getting like social housing and they couldn't be guaranteed to get the area they wanted. And so, yeah, Shetland is kind of, it is a very rich place. And, you know, it comes out on top and all these like quality of life surveys that banks hold. But there are folk who live in the Isles in poverty. We do have, I know of at least two food banks in Shetland. There's one in Lerwick that the Salvation Army runs and one of the, um, there's somebody who runs one um, in the local gospel hall in my hometown of Bray. I think it's, I think that one only opens once a week, but um, so yeah, there is still a need for food banks, but and I feel like it gets swept under the carpet a bit. And I know folk back in Chelsea have had to use the food bank. And I think, I think it's just something you'd struggle to admit to, because again, I, I almost feel like there's a bit of, a, a bit of shame kind of associated with it in some ways. <laughs> I'd like to see Scotland be independent in 10 years time, um, but I guess we'd have to see if we can convince the powers that be to hold another referendum in that time. And um, I guess as well, we just have to keep voting in governments that would make that happen. At this point in my life, I, I'm perfectly happy here. I don't see me emigrating or anything at any point, but you never know what the future holds. <laughs> Uh, my chosen song is by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, and it's called The Waiting. Uh, I've been a massive Tom Petty fan since I was really tiny. M my dad had followed him since the start of his career. I genuinely like cried my eyes out when, when he died. I was gutted. I mean, it felt like losing a family member. It means it means, it means that much to me. The song is by The Smiths. It's called Money Changes Everything, and I'm removing it. I like The Smiths, but I don't like Morrissey. He was just... He's just really annoying and smug and pretentious and but I just thought I'm taking the Smiths one off because I don't like Morrissey. So sorry but sorry guys. Would just like to emphasize the importance of libraries in the modern day and age because 
they're one of the only kind of bodies these days that aren't trying to make money off folk, believe it or not. Um, again, you can borrow books for free, even if you incur like a late fee, it's still cheaper than actually buying the book would be. Um, you can also get free internet access, free community spaces, um, just somewhere kind of safe to go. Um, and clip, yeah, clip. We, if, if, you, if you can use your local library, please do. When I was in primary school, you know, you went, we went over to the, my, my, I was, my school's the only one in Shetland that catered for like nursery all the way to S6 and the, the secondary department had a library in it and we used to go, in the primary school, we used to go to the library every week and um, an English class would encourage to use the library as much as possible as well and so that was, the, obviously once, once you got to primary six, you could take out two books and we considered just one and that was, that was awesome, this is the best. <laughs>